So, uh, welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we saw that GL and R plus is path connected. So, let us begin this lecture by showing that uh, proposition G L and C is path connected. So, to show that uh, G L and C is path connected, so given a matrix A, in G L and C, we will find a path jo joining A to identity. So, we have to find a path in G L and C. So, let us just look at this straight line path. So, let us consider this gamma t, this is t times identity plus 1 minus t times a. Okay. So, now uh, note that if t is a complex number, then gamma t is actually a matrix in. So, this i n is n times n identity matrix. Then gamma t is a matrix in m and c. It is an n cross n matrix with complex entries. Right. So, what we need? So, we need to find uh, okay, so, and note that gamma of 0 is equal to A and gamma of 1 is equal to identity. So, let P of t be equal to determinant of gamma of t. Okay. So, then this is a polynomial. So, this is a non zero polynomial. With coefficients in complex numbers right. And this polynomial is non zero because uh, non zero as p of 0 is equal to determinant of gamma of okay let's let's look at 1 or even gamma of 0 is fine but gamma of 0 we know is a which is not equal to 0 because a is in gl and c right so thus p of t has at most finitely many roots has finitely many roots has sorry has at most n roots right since degree of of p of t is less than equal to n right so if you make the complex plane then here we have 0 and here we have 1 and let's say the roots of p are lambda 1 up to some lambda r where r is less than equal to n right so this is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 up to lambda r okay and none of the lambda i's can be 0 or 1 because at p of 0 is determinant of a which is non zero and p of 1 is determinant of identity which is non zero okay so we can simply take a path we can take a path joining 0 and 1 which misses all these lambda i's yeah in the complex plane so let's so let s from 0 1 to c be a continuous path such that s of 0 is equal to 0 
s of 1 is equal to 1 and the gamma i's do not belong to uh, the image of s. Okay. So, then gamma compose s is from 0 1 to m and c the image lands in g l and c. Uh, because if for any t as in 0 1, the determinant of gamma of s of t is non 0 as determinant of gamma of s of t is equal to p of s of t which is non 0. Right? P of P of a complex number P lambda is equal to 0 if and only if lambda is in the set lambda 1 up to lambda r and the image of S misses all these lambda i's. So, therefore, the determinant the determinant is never 0 yeah thus gamma compose S from 0 1 the image lands inside G L and C and clearly gamma compose s of 0 is equal to gamma of 0 which is equal to a and gamma compose s of 1 is equal to gamma of 1 is equal to identity right so thus every matrix a in g l and c can be joined to identity by a continuous path. In G L and C. So, thus G L and C is path connected. So, therefore, using this nice trick, we saw that GLNC is path connected and this is much easier to prove than the case of GLNR plus. Okay. So, let us make this simple observation. So, this completes the proof. So, lemma let x be path connected. and let f from x to y be a continuous map. Okay. So, then uh, f of x contained in y with the subspace topology is path connected. So, let us see this, this is easy to prove. So, uh, recall that we had seen and we have used it many times now. If we view f as a map from x to f of x, where f of x has the subspace topology from y, then f is continuous. So, now we want to show that f of x is path connected. So, if we choose, so uh, let f of x 1 and f of x 2 be any two points in f of x, right. So, we have our x over here and here we have x 1 and x 2 and here we have let us say f of x, this f of x 1 and this f of x 2. So, since x is path connected, there exists a path which joins x to x 1 right, and this is f. Since x is path connected, uh, 
there exists gamma from 0 1 to x says that gamma of 0 is x 1 and gamma of 1 is x 2 right. So, this implies that f compose gamma from 0 1 to f of x is a continuous path joining f of x 1 and f of x 2. So, this implies that f of x is path connected. Okay, so, this completes the proof. So, as a corollary of this we have if x is path connected and f from x to y is a surjective continuous path. Then y is path connected. Right, this corollary is immediate because since f is surjective, it follows that y is equal to f of x and now we just use the previous lemma. So, as a corollary of this corollary, we have these nice applications S L N R this n cross n matrices says that determinant of a is equal to 1 is path connected. Right. So, in order to show that S L N R is path connected all the all that we have to do is we have to construct using the previous corollary uh, a surjective map from a path connected space to S L N R. So, we will simply take this map to S L N R. So, this map is, so if I take a matrix A, yeah, A gets mapped to, so this is A. So, we just divide all the entries in the first column with determinant of A. the other entries are as it is. Right. So, let us call this map f here. Yeah. So, clearly the image of f, okay, so determinant of f of a is equal to, since the first column has been scaled by 1 upon determinant of a, this is equal to 1 upon determinant of a into determinant of A, which is 1. Okay. Now, S L N R is contained inside G L N R and here we have F G L N R plus sorry to S L N R right? and this composition is equal to identity. Right? So, this implies that F is surjective. So, it only remains to show that f is continuous, but that is easy to see because so S L N R has the subspace topology from M N R. S L N R is a closed subspace of M N R and it has a subspace topology and therefore, to show that uh, f is continuous, it is enough to show that continuous if and only if I compose f is continuous. And to say that I composed f is continuous, it is enough to show that the coordinate functions are continuous. Yeah. But so to show I compose f is continuous, enough to show that the coordinate functions.
uh, continuous. Yeah, but what are the coordinate functions? So if we start with a, then the coordinate functions of i compose f uh, of a. So the first in the first column, the entries are of this type. A i 1 divided by determinant of a. Yeah. But uh, determin 1 upon determinant of a is once again a continuous function. So, since since determinant does not vanish on 0 naught plus, is continuous and non zero this implies the function a goes to 1 upon determinant of a is continuous right so this implies so uh, if i take a and i send it to a i 1 divided by determinant of a this continues right and similarly a goes to a i j where j is strictly greater than 1 is also continuous right so that thus the coordinate functions of i compose f are continuous this implies I compose f is continuous. This implies f is continuous. Yeah. And since g l n r plus is path connected, and f is surjective and continuous, this implies s l n r is path connected. So, this is one application. So, similarly, we can also show that S L and C this n cross n matrix with complex entries such that determinant of A is equal to 1 is path connected. Right. Again, we use the same map from G L and C to S L and C, where we just scale the first column by one upon determinant of A. Okay, so we will end this lecture here, and in the next lecture, we will talk about compactness.